Hi, I'm Jen with Jennifer Van Off Photography. As you know, we are dealing with a pandemic and definitely out of heart for all those that have had babies during this time and are unable to get those portraits. So I thought I would show you a few things that you can do so that you're able to get newborn pictures of your little one. Uh, I've got a few portrait ideas, some posing ideas, as well as some advice to get those pictures the best. The first thing you're going to need is a swaddle blanket. Uh, right now, we don't have any swaddle blankets because we're past that newborn stage, but I'm going to go ahead and use one of my newborn wraps so that I can at least show you what we do with those. Um, you can wrap across the head or you can just swaddle like you normally do. Um, I do around the head so I can do a couple poses with, off, with it on and with it off like a hood. And then when you lay down the baby, you wouldn't be able to see it. Um, you also want to use one light source. So if you have any lights on in your house, go ahead and turn those off and use a window light. I like to have a big light, so I'm actually gonna use my front door. And this is also nice because I have this wooden floor too, so we can use that as a backdrop. All right, with this first pose, I'm gonna actually have you guys find a basket or something round, like a pot. Um, this gives you an option to be able to do two separate poses or you can get creative and get close up. Um, but I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Uh, first, I'm gonna lay down my basket. Um, I found this background to be the least distracting, so I'm actually going to use this as my backdrop and I'm going to use the wooden floor as well. So where the light is coming through, this is a good range right here. I've got a good light. You can even move it a little bit forward if you want a little bit more dramatic, but you want some of that light on the baby. So I'm gonna lay that down right here. Since it's really deep, I'm gonna grab a pillow. I'm gonna stuff that in there. So that's a, a deep basket. You don't wanna set your kid inside it. You just want it to be on the top. So I'm actually going to put another blanket in here. I've got a couple neutral blankets that I've grabbed from around our house. Neutral sun tends to work out much nicer than some patterns um, because you don't have to worry about wrinkling. Everything looks really nice and clean. I'm gonna go ahead and go with this gray. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on top and tuck it in. This is creating a nice little poof so when you lay down your baby, just lays nice and flat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay baby so this, the light is on baby's face. I'm also gonna give you guys some tips on how to make sure that this your, your child is safe and also that these are gonna turn out the best they can. Newborns still wiggle, they still move their arms. So make sure that someone's here just in case because you don't want baby to fall over. So we've got this, I'm gonna angle, hopefully sleeping baby towards the light a little bit so we've got some light on top of their face. I'm gonna pull out my phone. My, cam my phone allows me to do 1x and 2x. If you can do 2x, I highly recommend it. So here we are. I'm gonna go ahead and do portrait mode, but I'm also gonna recommend for you to do photo mode as well because portrait mode can sometimes leave a weird blur around, especially around hair if you do have a newborn with a lot of hair. But I'm gonna give you some of those examples. So here is what I would do. I would scoot back, get a couple back farther. If you have any cloning, um, photo editing on your phone to be able to remove like the, the plug-in in the back, you can do that. There we go. Um, another shot I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn baby on baby's back. I'm gonna get a couple pictures from above. Light tends to do better if it's coming from the top of the head or the side. Below tends to be a little bit more scary looking, so we try to avoid that as much as possible. All right, and you might also, if, if your newborn is really sleepy, you could pull out newborn's arm and put it by the baby's face. 
turn it on the side so it looks like it's taking a little nap in the basket. And you can get creative. You can put baby in there, put another blanket on top, take a, take a couple verticals. If your newborn's sleepy, it's the best time to do it because you're able to move baby around. You can move their arms into different positions, but you really do want them to be asleep because newborns can't control their arms. So they tend to flare up, they grab their face, they stick their hands down their mouth, everything that you typically don't want in pictures. So we try to keep baby asleep so that we're able to get those nice photos so we can see their beautiful faces. All right, we're gonna move on to the next one. All right, for my next pose, I'm gonna need a little help. So you can use your significant other or you can use a sibling, someone who's in your house right now. So what I wanna do is I wanna make sure this blanket is nice and wrinkle free for the most part. I like textured blankets because if it is a little bit wrinkled, it looks natural. If you use like a sheet and it's got a little wrinkle to it, it does look less professional. So for you to keep those photos looking a little bit more professional, use like a cotton blanket or something like this with like a fake fur. All right, these are my assistants. Nora, you wanna hold this corner? I Elsa. Okay, her name is Elsa today. So Elsa is gonna hold up on this corner. Can you hold on tight? Um, and Ian, can I have you hold on this corner? No, nope. we'll go ahead and set that down, honey. Hold on to this corner right here. Hold that corner, buddy. All right, so I'm gonna make this nice and straight. Okay, go ahead and lift that blanket, guys. Lift that blanket just like you had it. There we go. So this is gonna give you a little backdrop, which is really nice because you can control it by asking people to lift up or down. And I'm gonna put baby right here. So we've got a little miss right here there we go this time I'm gonna pull this down so we're gonna lay baby on the side but I want you to pay attention to this look at your newborn's face if you just angle him or her towards that window a little bit you've got a nice little glow on their face all right Nora go ahead and lift that corner I'm sorry Elsa or Ella all right Again, I'm gonna go to two X. If not, go ahead and do one. Don't do anything less than that if you can. And then you're just gonna take some a few pictures on that. These are coming out a little bit dark. Can you guys pull that a little apart a little bit so you don't have any wrinkles? There we go. Pull it again, apart a little bit. There we go, guys. All right, these I really love the portrait mode for because it does blur out that background a little bit. Can I get a shot on my phone really quick? All right, so I'm gonna get a couple of pictures of baby like this. We got a nice little background. One of the ways you can do, I really love putting the newborn's arms like this and putting their hand right here. It's a little bit harder with baby because she doesn't have, she doesn't have any joints, but I might pull those arms out, put that arm right here for baby. No, it's just a little cute sleeping pose. All right, baby's face is a little dark, so I'm gonna turn it towards the light. I'm gonna get some shots like this. Go a little bit closer to the face. Great. And that's it. So the next one, you can just lay that blanket out on the floor. You can put something down that's soft and padded if you want to, but more than likely baby's gonna sleep no matter what. So this way you can lay baby down, put the hands behind the head, put hands right here, having hands crossed like this, but you would be surprised how much you can mold a newborn when they're sleepy. Just be real gentle, but don't worry. Um, one of my tips, if you do, which this is very well known within the industry, if 
baby starts to wiggle and feels like they're going to wake up and you've got them in a pose, hold their hands down gently and just shh. Maybe pat their head, give them a little pacifier until they fall asleep. All right, thank you. And then I would take a couple pictures just right above, just like we did with the basket. Get a little close up and how cute would it be with her hands like this and behind the head. There we go. All right, our next one, I'm actually going to use siblings or mom and dad. I highly, even though Nora is in a floral dress right now, I highly recommend something that's neutral. Because really what we're gonna do is focus on baby. Um, if you guys wanna change for different portraits, that's pop, that's definitely okay. But to be able to get like a nice little backdrop for baby, I recommend something a little bit more, more neutral, but this works too. So, okay, let's go ahead and put our legs crisscross, please. All right, Nora, can you hold the baby? Oh, Elsa, sorry. Elsa, can you hold the baby just like this? All right, I'm gonna have to cross you. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the baby just like this. And turn her just a little bit so we can see the light. And we can do this with mom, dad, baby brother, or older brother, older sister, and then just like that. No moving, okay? And then you can get some close-up shots. The baby with the backdrop. And you can also, Ian, can you grab a blanket for me real quick? All right, do crisscross applesauce again. I'm cold right now. Okay, well good, because I'm gonna grab a blanket for you. You can put a blanket right over someone and place baby right on that blanket. So it just looks like a little posing mat. And we can get some shots just like this. Of course, if uh, someone's bigger, it makes it a little bit easier. You're not gonna have as many wrinkles. Um, there's a little bit more space to shoot, but this gives you some ideas. All right, this also leads me into getting some sibling shots. All right, Ian, can you come in too? If you have more than one, you can just get one sibling yeah. to hold baby, and then we can get another sibling baby. in here. What if they have the kids? Okay, so we've got, this is very cute. Crisscross applesauce, baby in the arm, lean your face towards her. Let's actually go on the other side. Okay. So make sure all faces are lit up. And we can lean in. This is, again, is a good one to do with just photo and not portrait mode, just so that everyone is in focus. All right, smile. Look right here. Put your hands down, Nori. There we go. Now we got everyone in here. We must zoom out a little bit. The compression isn't as good, so I'm getting things like this on the side that I typically wouldn't want. I like this a bit better because I can zoom out and I don't get that on the side. All right. Well, we all have a pandemic hair, so maybe done. you guys will have a done, little bit done, more done, luck done, done. with getting everyone looking fancy. All right, that is done with the sibling shots. Right. I've got my helpers over here that's going, they're already laying down for me. What I want you guys to do is get real close together. If you have one that's much bigger than the other, you want the smaller one on the outside, but Nora and Ian are okay. You're not blocking too much light for Nora, so that's okay. Scoop a little bit closer to your brother. Not away from him. Get closer. You want everyone to be real close together. Bring your heads together. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring baby right here. And Amanda. We're losing some of that wrap there. Right in the middle. I'm gonna have you guys lean your heads together. So we've got like just the top of that blanket. So I'm actually gonna have you guys scoot this way so you're a little bit more towards the middle. Here, going. Okay. 
pick up baby oh, first. There I'm you bad. go, Elsa. <laughs> yeah, maybe pick up baby. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, definitely pick up baby if you guys are going to do doing these things, but those are just, that's just common sense. All right, can I have you guys look right here? Lean your baby, you're leaning your head towards baby. Lean your head towards baby. There we go, guys. Beautiful. Smile like you're happy. You guys are family. Yay. Great job. And you can do individuals with siblings this way. This is an easy way, especially if your newborn isn't trying or is having issues falling asleep this is a good one because sibling can help hold the baby some other tips is to make sure that you include all of your family this is a big time for everyone so you want to make sure you get each one of the parents each one of the siblings individually with the newborn um, doing these inside a bedroom their newborn uh, nursery their bassinet those sorts of things can kind of be the storytelling of what's happening in your lives at that moment. So make sure you get some pictures with family. Uh, one of my tips to be able to get the entire family is to push your phone on timer. Just try to get a couple of shots that way. 10 seconds or more is usually most helpful. You're not gonna get a perfect shot. It's hard to get a perfect shot even as a professional. So don't be so hard on yourself. Just one shot is going to be a really uh, great gift to yourself. While watching this video, I want you guys to keep this in mind. Newborns should be warm, should be fed, and clean. So having a clean diaper change, nursing or bottle feeding your newborn before you get started, and making sure the room is warm, whether it be with a space heater or wrapped in blankets, because it's gonna make the shoot last a little bit longer. All of my newborn shoots that I do professionally, those things are absolutely crucial so that I'm able to get some portraits of the newborn babies. If not, we see a lot of like consistent waking up and we get a lot smaller gallery um, from that. Um, it's not impossible, but uh, those are my biggest tips uh, and do these shoots when your baby is sleepy the most. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. I want everyone that's going through this, it's such a hard time to be able to have some beautiful photos. If you have any additional tips, I would love for you to leave them in the comments so other people can read them and have a better gallery from those tips. Uh, if you do want to connect with us, I'm on Instagram at Jen Van Elk at at J-E-N-N-V-A-N-E-L-K. Uh, and please reach out if you have any questions, need any help, definitely there for you. Again, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.